Thank you for tuning in to STL TV. I'm Lydia McGee, bringing you this week's biggest stories from the St. Louis American newspaper. To read more and to see this week's hottest photos from around St. Louis, be sure to pick up your copy of the St. Louis American on Thursday, July 21st. In the news, President Barack Obama, Rudy Bridges, and representatives of the Norman Rockwell Museum view Rockwell's The Problem We All Live With, hanging in a West Wing hallway near the Oval Office on July 15th. Bridges is the girl portrayed in the painting. November 14, 2010 marked the 50th anniversary of the six-year-old Ruby's history-changing walk to the William Franz Public School in New Orleans as part of court-ordered integration in 1960. Six years after the 1954 United States Supreme Court ruling in Brown versus the Board of Education declared that the state laws establishing separate public schools for black and white students were unconstitutional. This event represented a victory for the American Civil Rights Movement. In Living It, Kenya Vaughn is back with her popular column, Black and Single, the one that got away. Black, married, but looking over your shoulder. In sports, Mike Claiborne thinks Hope Solo got what she had coming for the way she dissed Brianna Scurry. Four years ago, when the U.S. goalie was Brianna Scurry and the U.S. lost to Brazil in the World Cup, the current U.S. goalie, Hope Solo, said, if I were playing in goal today, I would have made those saves and we would have won the game. Four years later, in the biggest game of her life, Solo allows the game-tying goal and then gives up on penalty kicks. Former Cardinal Ritter College Prep standout Jordan Plummer will be one of the players to watch when the St. Louis Surge faces the Minnesota Jaguars Saturday in the regional semifinals at the University of Missouri-St. Louis. Tip-off is at 3.30 p.m. Earl Austin Jr. celebrates a Cardinal Ritter star suiting up for the locally owned St. Louis Surge women's basketball team. In this week's paper, Joy Blair discusses the topic, with promotion comes jealousy and strife, and offers her advice on how to prepare for some of the unfortunate consequences of success. Thank you for turning in to STL TV and for making the St. Louis American the city's most newsworthy source for community news. Don't forget to pick up your copy today.